so happy that you're here with us, even through a screen. I am grateful that we get to worship and to worship together. So let's praise Him this morning. Let our hearts sing to you. We will follow you. Let our hearts sing to you. We will follow only you. Let your love shine and show us who we are, King of all. through the reading of the scripture. Today's scripture reading is from Romans chapter 12, verses 16 to 18. Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you know it all. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see that you are honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, good morning. It is so good to be uh, gathered again um, in this way. And we're continuing in our weekly rhythm of spiritual practices on Monday mornings today. Today, I have the privilege of leading this practice of hospitality with our newly elected ASB Spiritual Life Director, Hadley Halpert. Woo! Welcome to the team. <laughs> yeah, right through the screen. Um, it is uh, good to have you uh, with us, and uh, welcome. Welcome. We're so excited Thank to be you. able to see uh, your gifts and uh, the ways in which you will continue to offer your voice uh, to us and to our campus. And so, um, you know, as I mentioned before, we're going to be doing this practice on um, hospitality. And what a better way to do, um, to show this um, than sitting next to someone uh, on chairs with a cup of coffee. Um, so this is the way we're going to do it today. Um, uh, Hadley, you, you may or may not know this, but um, in my office, there are uh, Starbucks mugs um, right on the top of my bookshelf. I have a ton of them uh, from my travels and then also from uh, just friends who've uh, offered me some, uh, you know, over the years. And so um, when I have students in my office, sometimes I have coffee and I will choose a mug just that basically just, um, you know, um, what makes me feel like, oh, like this totally describes who you are. So I picked Tennessee for you yes. because I know of your love of Dolly Parton <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, and Nashville. So yes, cheers. hospitality. Yeah. Cheers. And so we're going to be having a cup of coffee together and having a conversation uh, with one another. Um, but, um, Hadley, you're timeout message this past Thursday. Um, thank you so much for speaking to us and offering your heart to us. And particularly, I loved the fact of the, the referring us back to that image of the, of, the, of the New Testament church, you know, in Acts chapter two, this idea of, you know, of this, this group of people who were empowered by the Holy Spirit. And through that um, empowering, uh, they were um, devoted to the apostles' teaching they were breaking bread with one another. They were seeing each other's needs and, and taking care of those needs within those communities. And, uh, and certainly that's, that's, that's a beautiful uh, vision of, of how the church started and also the, uh, a vision of who we need to be as the church. And so um, would love to know, uh, you know, even in your own experience um, as, a, uh, as a Christ follower, um, how, does the how does the practice of hospitality shape you, uh, shape the way in which you engage your family, your friends, uh, your neighbors, um, even shape your calling in ministry, and even in this role as uh, ASP Spiritual Life Director? We'd love to know that. Yeah, absolutely. So I think the biggest thing is to define the difference between a spiritual gift of hospitality and the spiritual practice. So when I think of the spiritual gift of hospitality, I think of my mom. Um, this COVID season has been really hard for her because if she had it her way, she would always have people in our home, feeding them, loving on them, um, and just welcoming them into our space. And then what we're talking about today is the spiritual practice of hospitality, which for me is um, creating spaces in our hearts of a welcoming people of different walks than us, um, inviting them to to speak their testimony into our life, to challenge the ways in which we are thinking, um, and creating spaces where people can feel held and safe and known and loved. Um, I think that this stretches our empathy, stretches us to see people for their humanity um, behind the differences and behind the opinions. And so it really challenges to challenges us to think about like how does Jesus show us through scripture that hospitality and how are we um, as Christians to live out that Christ likeness of hospitality yeah I mean you certainly you see you know you know the life and ministry of Jesus you know being with people uh, having meals uh, you know with his disciples with those that he met uh, sometimes even inviting himself uh, himself to a home of someone else I think of Zacchaeus you know like he invited himself to to his house you know and uh, and certainly there's this this sense of of what it means uh, for hospitality to not only be preparing a space but preparing our hearts to receive and so I think that's that that's a beautiful um, part of what hospitality means um, you know it, it allows us to to offer Christ to to others you know uh, going back to that you know um, 
that acts um, to kind of imagery, you know, we're filled with something. We're filled with the spirit, uh, not only to just receive it, but then also then offer it out uh, into the world. And so what does that look like for us to offer that to our neighbors, to offer the presence of Christ uh, to, to those who are around us? Um, and, and uh, you know, particularly in this time of COVID, you know, uh, we can't do it, you know, as frequently as we, we'd like to, or even, you know, you know in, in the ways in which we've seen before, but certainly what does that look like for us, you know, to, to have a phone call, to have a Zoom meeting where we open ourselves and our hearts to receive uh, who um, and hold space for others. And so I think about um, this, this time, uh, early in my doctoral program, uh, I went to a, a spiritual retreat out in Atchison, Kansas. And so that's a little, little ways from, from Kansas City. Um, it's a small town, uh, but I went to a spiritual retreat there and uh, one of the first things that I saw as I went through the doors of this retreat center was this sign. And the sign said this, it says, we welcome all guests as Christ. And it was one of those, those moments where I was like, oh my goodness, like one, I took out my phone and took a picture of it immediately because uh, it was just one of those things like, ah, oh, I gotta, gotta be able to, 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 to take a picture of this. But certainly um, the people who received me um, on on that day and, and, and in those days, the hospitality that I received was just so amazing. You know, there's something about receiving hospitality from, you know, family and friends. It, there's almost this expectation like, ah, like I am gonna be received by those who I know. But to receive hospitality from people that you don't know and and having that be a, a sense of, of, of understanding that we are part of God's family certainly was, was so moving for me to, to have, um, you know, these sisters and brothers of mine uh, opening up their place to me, you know, uh, offering me food, uh, walking me to my dorm room, you know, all of these things. It was just so beautiful uh, throughout those uh, three days that I was there and certainly just um, really just gave me a beautiful picture of what hospitality looks like. And so would love to know even your own experience, you know, um, can you share a moment for us, like even just like w ways in which hospitality has been s felt so deeply in your soul uh, in, in a moment uh, where, where, where you've received that, you know, from someone else. Yeah, absolutely. So a few years ago, um, my family, we were kind of going through just a rough season, season of ministry of life. Um, and there are these family friends that we have and we call them our tribe. And they are like my aunts and my uncles. And I even call one of them Papa Vic. Um, he is like a grandpa to me. And this idea so hospitality, like I said, is oft, so often like inviting people into your home. And there was one night in particular where we were just very broken and very struggling. struggling. And there was a knock on the door and it was our tribe of people with a box of pizza and some soda. And unwelcomed, they came into our home and um, they were hospitable to us by um, receiving our hearts and listening and welcoming, welcoming us in a time where um, we didn't necessarily have the words to speak. Um, but they allowed us to share our anger and our hurt and just the brokenness. And that was a time that has shaped me and taught me that hospitality looks like allowing people to be themselves, allowing people to be vulnerable and creating a safe space where people can do so. And so I think some pictures went up on the screen, but the, that tribe of people um, has taught me what hospitality means and um, I'll never forget that. Yeah, you know, there's, there's just something, you know, uh, memorable when you are extended such kindness and you are uh, welcomed with open arms um, in, in just, um, I would say, just, uh, just incredible and extraordinary ways that really mark you as a person. And so, you know, I think as, as Christ, Christ followers, um, that is the, the mark of who we are. You know, we are called to be a hospitable people. We're called to be people who, who welcome. I think of, you know, the passage in Matthew 25, where Jesus says, like, whatever you've done to the least of these, you've done to me. And, and the least of these, when he names, are those who are in need, those who are hungry, those who are thirsty, uh, those who are the stranger, those who are in need. Uh, 
whatever you've done to them, you've done to me. And, and it reminds me back to that picture of like, we welcome all as, as Christ. And so, um, so I, I think our, our hope, um, even as, you know, as Christ followers, as PL and you, um, is that we could be a people who are hospitable. You know, uh, people who are marked um, by the presence of Christ in us, uh, allowing it to transform our lives and, and offering the presence of Christ to those around us. And so, um, you know, I, I, I was reading uh, the Spiritual Disciplines Handbook by Adele Albert Calhoun, and she says this. She says, hospitality is a way of loving our neighbor in the same way God has loved us. And so I think that's such a beautiful way. And it's so simple and yet so profound you know, to offer the love uh, that God has given to us to the world. And so it's, it's the way in which we become, uh, she continues and says, hospitality is a way in which we become God's welcoming arms in a big and often hostile world. And so many, many times, um, you know, people are in need of hospitality. They are in need of, of being welcomed because uh, they're finding a space uh, to be able to, uh, to be brought in and to be shown kindness and love. And so I hope that that could be who we are. And, uh, and certainly as we continue to, to serve together, uh, we'd love to continue to challenge our students and our community to be a hospitable people. And so, um, yeah, um, um, I guess you're gonna go ahead and lead us into a time of a, re a reflection, right? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. If you would join us, we would love to just pause and take space to reflect, um, think about the words that ET has shared, um, and just open our hearts to um, how God is challenging us and in this season to be hospitable. So as I read these questions, I invite you to close your eyes, open your hands, and um, let these words pour over you. As we allow God to search our hearts, let us reflect on what Jesus is calling us to do when it comes to hospitality. How do we practically live this out? And how might Christ want to use your heart as a shelter for others? Oftentimes when we think of hospitality, the emotion of gratitude comes into our hearts. And so um, in this time of reflection, let's have a time of reflection and gratitude. Uh, remember a time you were welcomed and received. Recount the circumstances and the way people reached out to you. Picture where you saw Jesus in that moment and allow God to use this memory to touch you again with God's welcome and God's love. Let's reflect and give thanks. I was talking to Marco the other day about the spiritual practice and he described hospitality as, quote, an act of mutual acceptance and love. And I loved that. So with that being said, I think it's important for us to note that in order to open ourselves up to others, we need to open ourselves up to God and invite, and invite God to come and be with us. So then in that way, 
we are able to invite others in and welcome others in with the same love that Christ gives us. First John 4 reminds us to love one another because our love comes from God. Whether it's family, friends, and even a stranger, we need to welcome people in and show that love. Our availability to God allows us to show that same mutual love and acceptance to others as a sign of our hospitality. So let's open ourselves up to the work of God's Spirit. ourselves available to you so that we can be available to others. Lead us in your love. Amen. You heard the cry of our hearts and you came down free
I believe that God really wants us to be aware that the act of welcoming others is indeed an act of love. So why don't we practice this throughout the week and for the rest of our lives? So thanks for being here. Go in peace.